ball. And today on Big Baller TV, we've got a rarity. We're getting a chance to open one of the first off the line, first boxes pulled out of the new release case of National Treasures for Football. Now, these cases are going anywhere. If you catch one online, it might be cracked open already. As you know, they reseal them, put stuff in them. You might catch one online for 2,800 to 3,200. A real one straight out the case is averaging anywhere between $5,000 to $8,000 right now. This morning, I checked the online prices. This one right here at 5,200. This is Frank. He's been on a few of my uh, different videos with me already on the collections he purchased for his son Bill here. And what we're gonna do is pass this nice little beauty over to Bill because he owns it. Now the thing we're doing here, as you can see down the line, these are the hot tickets of the main quarterbacks on the market right now for 2023. We're looking for the Kenny Pickett 101 Rookie Auto Patch, of course, because he's new out. He's gonna be doing a big things. We also have a new quarterback release that this morning was let known that, um, well, Indianapolis, they got a brand new release quarterback. It was the quarterback last year from the Florida Gators. Right now, the name's slipping in my mind, but his numbers I saw this morning on FS1 were phenomenal. I'm looking forward to seeing the Colts having their first quarterback since the real man, Peyton Manning. Not to be mistaken by his brother, because he'll never match up to the numbers that his brother Peyton did. Great quarterback himself, but Peyton, the man. Anyways, while we're looking for these quarterbacks, we're looking for a Herbert, we're looking for a Mahomes, we're looking for T-Law right now because he is the hot quarterback picked up right now. Everything for Trevor Lawrence that's been purchased that I have watched over the last two weeks have doubled and tripled already for stuff like National Treasures been picked up from him. Well, we got a couple good ones up here. This NT right here, 25. When we picked this up, I checked the numbers this morning, it's already went up over $800 for the price comparable online. A couple of the cards these gentlemen have picked up, um, I checked this morning, one on one Justin Herbert's already climbing right now for its numbers. They're expecting him to come back strong from what he's doing already for the preseason. Let's get to what we're here for though, the National Treasures. Go for it. I'll pick on. This is his case, so we're looking really for the Bryce Young. There's been a blog put out, authentic or not, we don't know, but with the crazy stuff Ken Golden does, the blog was relayed over to me telling me that we're looking for a Bryce Young one-on-one NFL patch, national treasures. It's doing big numbers, and from what I heard, they're trying to acquire it for Golden. Anyways, I just seen what the next card was, as I said, well, you're, gonna, you're not gonna believe this. Are you ready? I want you to close your eyes. I'm, ready, I'm, ready. I'm gonna hand this to you, I'll show it to your dad first. We just, you guys just got two of these from me the other day and nothing near this. Look at what you got, open. Yes, it's the Brock Purdy, number 53 out of 99. Three colored patch at that. This card is probably anywhere between 5,000 right now. It may reach 20,000 your first bid. You paid for your box and probably a lot of the stuff you already purchased from me right here alone. I have goosebumps oh, for him. This over. is unreal. All Look over. at this. Woo! His contender cards oh, right now are carrying <laughs> online, if you can find one, a numbered card for him. It's right now running anywhere between 1,900, 2,500, upwards of five grand, if you can find the card. Just for his wild card cards alone, they're going anywhere between 400 to 2,500, sometimes a little shy, sometimes a little bit more. But for a good numbered card for Brock Purdy, get ready to buy a new house. Because that's what this is. This was an investment. This was, this may have been the enchilada out of this pack. Because as I said, I've never opened a national box. Be gentle, hold it from the sides. Be very, very light with it because we don't want to hurt it. This card tends for him. It could be that major, major, major one. We're gonna be getting this sent out probably to Golden if we don't end up carrying it straight because we want this to hit the market fast before anybody else does. Brock Purdy, Rookie Auto, Three Colored Patch, National Treasure, number to 99. Number 53 out of 99. Now the thing is, usually out of 99 is not the main enchilada. So we're gonna take this and put this here. 
We don't really care for booklets. Booklets will do good money, $2,000, $3,000, sometimes more if you get somebody really rare like a Josh Allen, maybe like a Purdy, but we don't expect that one to be the high number card. Let's go on to the next one. All right, be gentle on the side, turn it and read it. You got it? This one is number 32 of 99, and it is Daniel Carson from the Raiders. It's one of their wide receivers they have, if I'm right on that. Um, very, very nice card. Also, very good card on Patch Auto. As you saw on this one, that was one of the main things I wanted to point out to you. This right here, see the difference in value of cards when you've got these type of cards, right? Even if this was equivalent to this one patch-wise. See how this is signed on a on a you know like a plastic type thing? They call that they call that sign on the ticket. This right here is an on-card auto. Much, much, much more valuable, like double to triple the numbers. All right. Yeah, that dude, that is just so phenomenal, that card you got. I really can't even believe it. I really wish I had opened that on the way home to you yesterday now. I really do. No joke. Because I can't wait to see the next one. All right. We're gonna turn it, ready? All right. There's a printing plate. Okay, this is called okay. a printing plate. You haven't seen one of these yet. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, Perrion Winfrey. Okay, don't know a lot about him. Nice card. Obviously, it isn't our enchilada because we would have known about him. All right, so we're gonna go on to the next one. And I already seen it. It's to accompany Mr. Brock Purdy. For him to be a nice 49ers, because our 49ers are hot, you have a nice George Kittle, number 449. You have a two, co three colored patch inside in the circle here. Okay. This is the, they call this the Century, uh, what is it, Witness? Well, Witness? Can't read that one very well because angle. Materials. Oh, okay. It's the Century Materials, George Kittle. This card probably here is probably three to four hundred dollars by itself if not more, depending on how it grades. We'll put that in the 49er category. All right. Did I say it was four of 49? Yes, it did. That's number four of 49. Yeah, which yes. is good. All right, on to the next one. Not bad on this one. Go ahead. All Ready? right. We got also a number four of 25. This is Miles Garrett from the Browns. That's a nice card right there. That's an upper coming right there. You have again. You got yeah. You got you got two patch color on this one. Uh -huh. The black and white. Very very nice card. You're doing very well right now. You really are. You've more than paid for that box by far. And I don't think we're gonna wait. We need to wait on that party. Things going. Things going to the market. All right. We may have somebody before the week's out for that. Read it. This one is Isaiah Likely. Is that right? Likely? Number 18 of 99. It's likely right? It sounds right to me. All right, now what we have here is, is two different colors. We have two different patches, oh, same okay. color. Okay, go ahead and take a look at that, read the numbering on it. That one Some, is number 18 of 99. Some of these items are actually game worn. That's an important thing. That's the one thing oh. we haven't been able to read yet because I have my reading glasses on okay. for the Purdy. If that turns out to be game worn material, that number for that card will be phenomenal. I'm sorry I keep going back to the Purdy, but I'm stuck on it. That is just like mind blowing to me that that came out of this box first. I told you it was first off the line. Yeah. I, I can't even believe that. That is just <clears throat> crazy. All right, next one. Dante Hall. Oh. Dante Hall is a good card. This good one is card. gonna be number eight of 25 and he plays for the Chiefs. Looks like we got two colors on the patch. Mm -hmm. Numbered. And its number again was eight of 25. It's a good card, eight of 25. Probably anywhere between 450 to $800 right now on the market, give or take. Not a bad card at all, not a bad pull. These are all big boy cards. Nice. I seen the next one come and I kind of liked it. I like the one after the bill. Beautiful. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, wow. You know that he knows this one. That's good. <laughs> this is Kirk Cousins. Playing for the Vikings is number 44 of 49. Take a look at the reflective color of the front of that shiny. that none of them had before. 
That's something I haven't seen on too many of National Treasures cards. That's something I really want to know about. I don't know too much about that. Usually that points towards a refractor, could be the case. Usually that says it right across the back of it. I don't see that on the back of that printed. But it doesn't mean it's not. We're gonna do some checking to find out. All right, All right the next one. Man, should have been so much better. Ready? Grab it. All right. Matthew oh, Stafford. Matthew Stafford. All right. Number 68 of 99. Also done just like the other one. So, I was right. We mixed that up wrong. Like I said, I'd never opened up a National Treasures box. It seems to be, we're going to keep this thing from being touched by everybody. We're just going to stick it right back in there. It's a Brock Purdy right here. That is a monster pull. You could not have asked for a better card than what he just got. If you watched him play last year in the Super Bowl, when he <coughs> performed in those playoff times before he got the surgery done, he threw that ball like a catcher does. He was a two-step drop, cut, fast release. That was faster than Brady. Doesn't mean he's better than Brady, but he put up numbers faster than any other rookie on the market. And if it continues to be a performance for Brock Purdy like he's already done and like he's already going to be expected to do, this card could be anywhere between $100,000 to a $1 million dollar hitter. We don't expect a million dollar because it's not the one of one. But we do expect it to do anywhere between $10,000 and up, holding off for a couple games if he performs. The question is, do we hold off? I think not. I think this will be making its way over to Dave Ammerman at, at um, Golden Auctions. And I think this is going to make its way up the hill. Look forward to getting this from Golden because I plan for these boys to be transporting it to them. Thank you for tuning in. What do you think? I think it's great. I can't <laughs> wait for the next one. <laughs> I think oh, we man. did good. Yeah? That is awesome. Anyway, so we'll be getting this to where it needs to go. Now, so what do you see here? What do you think? I'm super excited. I can't wait. My collection is getting bigger. And when I sell some, I'm going to get a bigger collection. So that way I can make some more. And definitely my house is getting paid for. Yeah, I would definitely think that your new house in Kentucky yes. that you're uh, working on, I, I know the prices in Kentucky. We talked about that yes, the other day. Did. I think you paid for that right here. I honestly do. Um, I honestly think if we were to put this right now up on eBay, just as it is, raw from the break right now, connect this video to it, that card probably right now would reach 20 grand easily. Easily. I really believe that. There's no national treasures out there for him at all. That's gonna be the first one to hit the market. That's as far as I've seen. I've been looking for them to buy them because I sell cars, resell them, market them, go everywhere we need to go. Um, I actually, uh, with permission for them, gonna probably put this up at San Jose Card Show this weekend. Be seeing see if we can uh, put a monster tag on it and see if somebody wants to bring it home. Sounds good to me. Sounds like San Jose is our first gig. So I, I don't want my boys that watch this video to think that I'm out of line here for the price, I think. Absolutely what, not. What, what do you think your price tag on this is? Just off the mark, just a guess. What do you think it is? By what you know, by from, the discussions from we have. From what I've heard and what I've known so far, and already that he played in the preseason game, so his- Super Bowl. His card's already gone up. He was Super, Bowl. Super Bowl. There you go. So, I mean- Did he go Super Bowl? What did he do last year? He, he was on the team. But, he was on the team, but- Yeah, yeah still, <laughs> it doesn't mean he's still there. He's just he, hurt. He's got potential, yeah. so I, I'm thinking at least a good 15, 20,000 at least. So the Brock Purdy, look for it coming to market. It will be probably, is it okay with you guys if some of this stuff shows, San Jose Card Show we'll this weekend? We'll see you in San Jose this weekend. It'll I be won't at be the there, show. The card will, will be up there. It'll be sealed, ready to rock. Don't if you would like to make a very, very extensive high number offer on this card, because we're going to be in the 49er region. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly my in reason why. Let the bidding and offers begin. 10,000 begins the first offer from me. I like that. We'll see so, you guys soon. So, if you want the card, be ready to bring more than 10,000 because I'll take it for that. Because I already know what I know when everybody else watching this show does. Brock Purdy right now, excuse my language, is the shit. Okay? And the ratings of quarterbacks out there right now, obviously Mahomes is number one because he's already put the numbers up. Josh Allen right on his tail, number two. He's put up numbers in his first three to four years of football like nobody else did other than Brady, and that was only because, and I'm not even sure Brady put those numbers up in the first couple of years. But 
What I can say is Mahomes, Allen, Herbert, Joe Burrow, then comes the Brock Purdy right there. Now, don't get me wrong, T-Law's right there too, but guess what? He has to do something this year. And if he does, I'm gonna be happy because I got 16 of his auto parts ready to go, national treasures, everything else. I'm looking forward from my new house. Nice. Right. So, Big Baller TV, enjoy the video, enjoy the picks. Come get it today.